It's only like 1.30 a.m. Friday night. Why are you awake? That's a question I cannot answer. The Rock A. With rock plating and two missile launchers. What more could you need? I don't know. Maybe a weapon? Maybe a weapon. That didn't require missiles. I wonder how many missiles we start with. I'm not sure I've played this one before. 28. That's quite a few. Okay. Did Steve just go straight to streaming? I did. I did just go straight to streaming. So what do we, like, do to kill stuff? Two times damage on systemless rooms. So we go, like, that. And this. Man, we should really hit those instead of missing them, huh? Oh, we're fucked. Wow, I missed again. Hmm. Oh, we're actually fucked. Wow, well, this ship seems like a lot of fun. That seems... Yeah, that seems like a, a very enjoyable ship. All right, that was fun. Oh, good. The stealth... Uh, the stealth B. Even better. Okay. Yeah, Blazor, how you doing? Gunfluster, hello, good evening. A really fun game there. Really fun game. Alright, I played this one a bit. We start with level 2 cloaking, we have a glaive beam. If we go up to level 3 cloaking, we can always cloak longer, like cloak long enough to charge the glaive beam. Also, we start with long range scanners. Not sure that we can get multiple fights here though. Hey, Rudeful. Oh, fuck me. Hey, Sardis! <laughs> Sorry, I just paused. No pause, no pause. Thanks so much for two months in a row. Subscribing with Twitch Prime, much appreciate it. Welcome back to the Advent Skynet. Dog Bomo show to you as well. Okay, so the idea dealing with that drone is just to look at where it's pointing its laser at, basically. And if it points at our weapons, we have to cloak. But as long as it doesn't, we are good. And we ended up being good. We're only at 20% of aid. Oh, God. Let's hit this distress beacon. We have cloaking. We're rich. Hey, Guignol. Up past curfew. I don't think the US is quite like that yet. <laughs> this time they have a defense drone. So we're just going to cloak the shot here. And then by the time we're out of cloak, we get to kill them. Pretty easy game. Okay. <laughs> this ship is either like very, very easy or very, very difficult, depending on how exactly that stuff goes. We're up to level three cloaking, which means we basically get to glaive beam before anything can attack us now. I don't have enough reactor for it though. Let's 
These faster than light speed ships are insane. Um, yeah. I don't know. This ship's very good or very bad, depending on how the first sector goes, basically, is my understanding. We will offer our help. We get a quest marker. We have a lot of fights to take. One, two, three, four, five, six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna miss out on that quest, but we got two fuel from the beacon, so it's not a huge loss. We have stumbled across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They're powering up. They're faster than light. Those little shits. Ooh. Wait, what does that do? Does that mean our cloak doesn't last as long? I don't know. Anyway, we managed to survive that. Um, didn't go perfectly. Do have a med bay, which Sophie is going to have to visit, I guess. Thank you for the auto host, Beaks and Jam. The ship is obviously good if it can travel at a speed that surpasses even light. It's all relative, though, you know? Faster than light travel is all about warping space so that you have to travel less distance. I think I think that's that's what it's really all about. Oh, we're fucked. Are we fucked? I think we're fucked. Um the last little bit of the glaive beam can actually hit though. So if it hit weapons, maybe would be okay. I don't know. Let's see how this fight goes. What we're going to want to do is, like, just cloak pretty early. I think if you shoot like this, you actually hit with the end of the beam. And that will hopefully be enough to keep us alive. We should get more reactor power. That didn't work. All right, probably dead. Oxygen, unnecessary. Our cloaking's up again. Cool. That's just good luck. I'd like to give me a mantis. Well, we don't have boarding. We need to buy reactors. We can get boarded, though. I think it's worth grabbing the crew. He can man shields for us. LOL. Uh, da, 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 very good. All I have to do is not die. Let's wait for oxygen to fill up here. So how are you guys doing tonight? You went to bed at 4 a.m. Now you're awake. Why did you go to bed at 4 a.m.? Rizzale! Thanks so much. For two months in a row. Agbomo show to you as well. Much appreciate your continued support. Welcome back to the Advent Skydot. Is that too cheesy? That's pretty cheesy. It's pretty fucking cheesy. Was manning the shields a joke? Yes, that was a joke. <laughs> Thanks for the follow of ALGM. I made a little joke there. Oh, fuck me. Really? These guys... <laughs> really? 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 Um... I mean, we'll find out if we're dead or not, right? 
Just depends on if they hit weapons. They have to hit weapons and cloaking, probably. At least you don't have to fight him. Ooh, you had a nightmare, Grand Ninja. What sort of nightmare? I have had some really gross nightmares in my day. These nuts! Thanks for the follow. That does hit. Look at that. Hmm. That's my weapons. Cloaking's back up again soon. Oh god. It's my doors. Wow. I wonder if I didn't get the cloak off before that hit, or if it just, like, hit me. We have no oxygen. We have no engines. We have no sensors. So this is what it looks like when you lose with this ship. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have to take that fight though. Beast, thanks for the follow, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna try this one more time. It was an experimental attempt to see what would happen. And we have now discovered what would happen. We've got an asteroid field that's no ghost. Let's check out this nearby sun, I guess. Seems to have a severe lack of oxygen. Yeah, we pushed for a... For fight, it turns out we couldn't take. Oh, fucking hell. Just want to watch for this aiming at our weapons. Please, no. Please, no. Come on. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Thank you. Oh, we unpowered that. That's incredible. Uh, we should be okay. It's going to take a little bit longer to kill them, and we have this solar flare that we're in right now. Hey, our oxygen is down. Holy fuck. Our Zoltan's dead. All right. This ship's incredible. This ship's incredible. All right. Who's next? Good ship so far tonight. We've got the burst laser two on the Osprey. Artillery beam. Hmm. Feel a little bit happier about this. Basically, you couldn't control yourself and went on a murder streak. Only everyone... On everyone you care, but it all started because of a pancake. Wars have started over less. Wars have begun over less, Grand Ninja. I had a nightmare last night, but then I like cuddled Caitlyn and it went away. It was wonderful. It was one of the happier moments of my adult life. I like Caitlyn. She's cool. Name the crew. I mean, if it's requested, I guess I have to. Gignol. <laughs> Gignol. Uh, Beast, all right, you're on. You can be the Mantis. We have Blazor on again. Blazor's going to be a rock man this time. And Grand Ninja. We'll be the NG. Was the Osprey the ship with the don't upgrade your weapon still Sector X achievement? I don't know. Maybe. I don't do this shit. I really want long range scanners. Long range scanners are so good. 
I will send my NG to calm the infected. Um, there isn't anything that important to buy. I'm going to buy a weapons buffer. It's not like I desperately need to pick up something at a store or something with this ship. <laughs> Everybody thinks this ship looks like a penis. All right, we got the double beams, so we probably want to shoot our oxygen forever, right? See if we can get that down, keep it down somehow. The answer presumably is no, but still. It's a very unfortunate top-down design. Maybe if we wait until the Mantis has it at like just barely orange and then shoot again, maybe that way we can get a little bit more of the oxygen out of the ship. Mantis are very bad at repairing things. Oh, he's dead. <sighs> If there wasn't a rock crew member. I feel like we got so close to having that. We were just overzealous with our shooting. Got six jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a half, five, yeah, okay. Four and a half, five, six. That's what I meant to say. Missile launchers. They are powering up their fiddler. If they get away, we will complain a lot about RNG, typically. Where's the missile hitting? I like shooting the engines more than the piloting, because I think the pilot comes and repairs stuff if you do it that way. And since we have a buffer on weapons, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot the engines nonstop. Nice misses. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. Great work. Yay. <laughs> Fucking. <clears throat> I don't know. I could have been shooting piloting, I guess. Engine was a mistake. The pilot will repair stuff if both the engines and shields are damaged or something like that. It might be weapons and shields. So maybe I had to shoot the shields or something. I don't know. I mean, the mistake was missing multiple times with our attacks. I think that was the main mistake. We're none the worse for wear. We didn't really have valuable jumps that we needed, so the fleet pursuit doubling isn't that big a deal. I guess we're going to the market as the last jump of the sector. More missile launchers. This time we'll go weapons. Ooh, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying the show. Whoa! Out of nowhere, a big laser beam. Okay, we got some good scrap. Let's hit up this wizard market. I don't think we have anything we can sell, really, right? 
Yeah, we're not going to sell a burst laser. So our options are non-existent. We could buy an anti-personnel or system repair drone. We could buy a human crew. Doesn't seem like a very pertinent thing. All right, wasted jump, cool. Cool stuff. I guess I'll go Zoltan controlled. That's a hell of a lot of nebula. We don't really want Nebula with no long-range scanners. Just too many dead jumps. Um, some very dangerous jumps and not that many great ones. Zoltan Controlled is a bit of a shitty sector as well. But at least we have a chance to get a good next sector this way. I think I won the last time I played this ship. I think I got like very many flak ones though. Wish I had a shield buffer right now. Who's on guns? Blazar's on guns. Slowly leveling up. <laughs> hey, Talberts. I don't know. I really like Nick and Beagle, so... Consequently, I sort of do live on Australian time. You want to give me three fuel, the drone part, and eight scrap. No, get fucked. Enjoy my burst laser, friends. We got an extra five scrap, but one less fuel. So in that instance, I feel like that was a good trade. How many of you guys were watching the PUBG tonight? I was crushing, crushing some people tonight. Oh my God, I'm lethal. Two crew would have fixed the fire anyway, even if it wasn't a rock man. Oh, that's sad. Cool. This is the sort of fight where you just instantly lose. And that's basically how it's always gone for me. So they have flak and a laser. There are intruders on board and they have a Zoltan shield. Like what the actual fuck is this? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Sure are doing a terrible job of hitting me. Holy shit, that weapons buffer just saved my life. Yeah, it's pretty likely that that weapons buffer... Just turned out from a lost fight into a one fight, I think. Okay. Weapon buffer was genius. Any crossbow kills? Um... <laughs> no, I didn't get any crossbow kills. I gave the crossbow to Nick the one time that it seemed reasonable to use it. I was hard carrying in quotation marks. It was all me. I see. Is the Federation C the one with the flak cannon? My understanding of that ship is that it is shit. That's my understanding of that ship.
That was really loud. Critical motion. A.K.A. Nick. A.K.A. The Kid. Thanks so much for the host. No GeoGuessr tonight? Oh, it stunned my shields. That's a clever trick. They're running away. Okay, we did it. This has been some slightly scrappy fights. Hello, is this the best PUBG player? Are you talking about yourself? Um, Nick, I have definitely improved the PUBG, but no, I would not say that I am the best. I'm getting so much better though. I was pleased with some of the K98 shots that I was hitting where I was leading people in fields. And I held a building well as well. Wow, that's just like... We just buy these and we have an entire salvo already. Oh, uh, we can't quite get both. We can buy hacking instead. We can buy... <laughs> this is a very good store. This is the sort of store that I would like to just trade everything that my ship has for this store. And then would be set. Get a drone control with a defense drone. Oh my god. Um, What's good here? I feel like with a burst laser too already, the heavy laser is probably what we want. But I'm really tempted by the drone control, actually. Um, We have a ship that sort of likes playing defensively because of our free beam if we get there so like cloaking drone control hacking is pretty good too hacking's a decent defensive option but i think drone control with the defense drone is better nick has heard about my one taps i shot some guys in the head with the k98 at range too Beast would take Burst Laser. It's a little bit to get it online. It does shoot a lot, though. I feel like the two power fits nicely into an offensive loadout. What time is it? 1.54 a.m. I just want to try the drone control one time. Can I do that? Is that okay? You guys okay with me trying that out? We're just going to get killed by like burst laser plus flak though. I've never tried this before. Because it isn't good. But... I mean that is why I've never tried it before. I'm gonna try it. Could be fun. How many flagship kills? Uh, three on hard no pause, I think. I haven't been playing for that long. Still learning. They hacked my shields and breach. I guess we have no evasion anyway, right? We just keep their weapons down with the burst laser and eventually we'll go kill this, repair this. That's what that's what you call it. 
Yeah. Oh, they get to bring more. That's rude. You want to give me breach missiles, 20 scrap, 3 fuel, 2 drone parts? Yes, thank you. Why does the ship beam weapon suck so much? This ship's beam weapon? Um, it's on a 50 second cooldown is why. It actually, it gets to be pretty serviceable if you put the investment into it. It goes to a 20 second cooldown, which like if you have cloaking as well, that ends up being not so bad. Dragomira, thanks for the follow up to the stream. It's a lot of investment to do that. It's like 200 scrap or something. If you consider both the uh, artillery beam upgrade cost plus the... Can you guys fuck off? <laughs> plus the reactor that you need for it. Looked like the asteroid just killed their heavy laser attack. Okay, we got their weapons. Our shields should hold at this point. We sort of got their weapons. That time we got their weapons. Good fight. This allows needing another 200 to get a stealth package to go with it to make it viable. You... The stealth package does other things, though, too, right? The stealth package is worth getting on its own. It's too random to hit important parts you need to destroy. It's, like, some pretty decent hull damage. Okay, this looks like a very boring fight where they can't really attack me. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, fuck. That's like a big beam thing. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was missing something. Is that a pike beam? Should be okay now. It just like fit in with all the other crap all over this ship. Weapon buffer is pretty good. Like, what it does is pretty straightforward. If you take one damage on your weapon systems, your weapons don't stop working. I think that's pretty okay. You want a mod where hovering over the weapon shows what it is? Yeah, that would be nice. Because you, you know what it is by looking at it, right? The picture is always the same. It's just like, you have to have already found out. Those sort of mechanics are sort of irritating sometimes. I'm gonna grab shields too. Can't really power it, but we'll get there. Two Zoltan and Shieldrin neutralizes ion damage so can't displace their power. Yeah. I have never actually done that yet, but a lot of people have... Um, pointed it out to me is something that I should be doing. We don't seem to have any power here. They have a missile launcher. Okay. Did we get boarded? Man, I really don't have any power. I managed to trick them into attacking my drones. 
missile launchers back. Dead. For piloting. Good. Should be it. This is where you drop everything for defense drone. Yeah, I guess if I'm going to buy the defense drone, I should probably activate it in a fight where they're only attacking me with a missile launcher, huh? I mean, that's why I dropped the shields for engines, because I recognized that I needed dodge. But for some reason, like, it was beyond me to recognize that I had bought a drone control system specifically to be able... <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. Pretty proud of that. Not the best jumps. Just not the best. All right, we'll go abandon sector over the nebula, I think. Should maybe upgrade our reactor. Can be immune here, right? If we go like that. I don't actually know what that gun is. Oh, fuck me. Wow, that's rude. Sure, just missed. Okay. This fight could be going better. They'll uh, run out of missiles at some point. Really nice to have oxygen right now. You know what? We're gonna go like this. This is actually how we win the fight, I think. Yeah, this seems better. I think it's like 10 to 15 rockets or something. It looks like they're out already. Defense drones are especially bad on the Osprey. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Depower the drone for more damage. I guess we can depower the drone now, yeah? No reason not to. Glad they didn't try to run away. Okay, we just need to get our reactor going. We shouldn't really be taking damage. 
the fuck is that fight? Holy shit. Never mind. Do we have to run? I think we have to run. The sector is terrifying. Okay, that was pretty lucky. And now they're super desynced. Maybe we're okay here. Mm, the ion's gonna fuck us. Nice. Maybe the ion doesn't go for anything relevant. Maybe it like goes for our weapons. That would be okay. Went for shields. I guess it's always gonna go for shields, huh? No, we should be fine because their weapons got desynced. They want to surrender already? They want to give me quite a lot of stuff for their surrender. Five fuel, seven missiles, enough scrap for another reactor. Sure. So now if we need to dodge missiles, we power the def... Uh, oh, we'll be fine. Hey, my little Toriel. And his sectors are always tough. Yeah. Yeah. This guy has a missile launcher and something else. Crew teleporter. He's after my oxygen. Good shooting. I enjoy that, like, this is actually my win condition. <laughs> that's that's actually how we intend to kill half of the ships that we're meeting right now for some reason. I can always switch to breach missiles. Yeah, I can. I have 23 of them. I was just thinking about that. We have some reactor issues if we do that, though. We can turn off oxygen right now. And just barely have enough power to do it. Can I turn off oxygen to get the engines charging in case we have to run? If we get unlucky with the missile, it might happen. Five missiles, a drone bit, 11 scrap, whatever. Whatever. I'm unimpressed. This artillery beam should kill. Nice. Mm. How do I leave? Like this? Like this. All right, let's go. Dual charger laser with three stacks. Yeah, it doesn't do anything though, right? Beam laser. These guys can't hit me unless their drone is attacking me, which it is. Oh, they have another gun. Why do they all have three fucking weapons? I don't understand. It's so many weapons. Well, the weapons are desynced now. We're probably okay. It will still take a very long time for us to kill them. They have to hit three times in a row, too, to... Ah, that's not true. They can uh, just hit two out of three and have the beam go off at the same time. Sort of wishing that I took an extra laser right about now. Fancy that. Okay, their shields are down. I'm going to try to keep their shields down. Hit 
their drown. <sighs> Two times basic laser and one mini beam is worth three weapons power. It's like what they have right now. Isn't the one that shoots twice worth two weapons power? Ouch! <laughs> Hit us once right at the end. Okay, we could really use a store. Definitely sitting with five hull points right now. Oh my god. They can't hit me though. They're just going to launch another now, right? Well, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So they managed to trap us inside an oxygenless room. I knew that that was happening. I thought we could get out. I'd like to surrender. They're not giving me enough for the pain that they've caused. 18 scrap will take it. Do we have a market, perchance? Distress beacon. No, you have this backwards. Definitely, definitely have this backwards right now. Guignol died. I'm sorry, Guignol. I think I've had a uh, controlled the guys they could have all gotten out to. I didn't have all of them attacking the door at once. I think only th two of them were at first, then I got up to three, but I don't think I ever got all four of them attacking the door. <sighs> what are the best ways to die? I will scan the ship for life form. Say hey, we're fighting. All right, good. These guys kind of hurt me though, unless the missile gets through. Let's actually be shooting at shields right now, I guess. Hacking is crazy powerful in this. You always just do it on the pilot to make all of your shots hit. Yeah, you can use that or mind control. Get the pilot out of piloting. I had the option to pick up hacking, but I wanted to try a defensive drone setup just because I never have before. Get an idea of what this is actually good for. Okay, the beam took their piloting down. So this should just be one more laser volley and we're good. 
Lanius don't mess around, do they? Did we miss that beacon? Maybe there's only one store. They want seven fuel. No. Okay. We grab a beam too. Requires three power. Stuns combat drones attacking your ship. Eh. Can grab an anti-personnel drone to deal with borders. Probably okay. There's nothing to sell really. I think that's fine. It's not a great store for us. Could have really used another weapon. But we're like slowly getting our defensive setup going. Sort of. Kind of. Grab a little bit more evasion. Seven drone parts for 33 scrap. Sort of need those. We do have an NG crew member, 30 scrap, very nice. Um, let's grab one more reactor, and we're out of here. Don't want to upgrade my reactor for 19 scrap, got to take that. Zoltan controlled, or uncharted nebula, wow. These have been the worst jumps that I've ever gotten, ever. <laughs> Actually true though, not like, I mean, yes, I'm being salty, but also actually true. Zoltan to abandon to Zoltan. And those have been better than the other options every time. These guys can't hurt me, right? Ooh, we're in an asteroid field, so they can. I mean, I certainly cannot hit them. I'm gonna throw a defense drone. Oh, that's a burst laser too. That's a frightening ship. Oh, that's very bad. Okay. Can just jump away shortly. Or we can go like insane greed and see what this artillery beam does. A pretty fucking good artillery beam. Oh my. Oh, I think we just won. Okay. Yeah, that artillery beam was insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We took two hull damage from that fight against Burst Laser 2, Double Beam, Triple Shield, Zoltan in an asteroid field. Use my damn Breach Missile. Oh, I should do that, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's not a terrible idea. Is have a missile launcher, something or other, something else. I'm going to use the breach missiles just for you guys. You shit. Do you guys just see that? Unbelievable.
pretty strong ship I'm running here. Pretty strong. Good offensive output. He just missed. That missile missed before we shot it down, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Nice. I think we jump. Mm, the artillery beam's almost on. Wow, those are some nice misses for us. Let's let them cloak this time. Unless this just takes their cloak. Oh, are you fucking serious? <laughs> um, except it hit, right? Yeah, it still hit. Okay. They're dead. We can just wait for the artillery beam to kill them. That breached and auto drones cannot repair breaches. Got a little unlucky with drops, but yes, the early offense is strangely an issue with the Osprey. It's more that I made it an issue by going for a drone system as my upgrade. Don't think it has much to do with anything else. We took about 30 scrap worth of hull damage in this fight. They fix breaches? Do they really? I don't think they do. Pretty sure that auto drones cannot fix breaches. Let's grab like three jumps and then hit the market. Where are, like, the shitty guys that we get to fight against, have to fight against? Oh, my Mantis is starting on no health. And getting obliterated. Yep, that was definitely a lot of attacks. Charging the wrong gun... Can't charge the other gun anyway. We don't have piloting at the moment. We're dead, I think? Yeah, we're dead. Dead to this laser salvo. Ooh, maybe we can get really lucky with some dodges. Nope. Okay. The defense purchase, not such a big fan. Maybe if we went for it later, maybe if we'd gotten some better stuff after it, maybe if we'd had a better Sector 3. Lots of things could have been different. The Rock 3. 